You know, coming from Africa and as a physician in Africa, we get used to seeing people dying, unfortunately. And sometimes dying from things that can be prevented. And this is the part that breaks, breaks the heart of uh, the believer that uh, we are. The Childhood Nutrition Project was really uh, spawned from a conversation that Dr. Cadio and I had. He had been working with a missionary who had started a school and for many years they had been having a lot of health problems at that school. And several children had died, sometimes several every year. In, in general we will uh, go and uh, help the children for the most current diseases. And for West Africa, it's going to be, number one is going to be malaria, actually. But that school has been recording a very consistently high rate of childhood mortality, which led me to think that there was something deeper going on in that community. And uh, this is when I used my uh, public health lenses and I started digging a little bit deeper to understand what was going on uh, in that school and he had discovered that it was about uh, malnutrition, that there was an underlying prevalence of malnutrition in those children. And so we discussed it and decided that this was exactly the kind of project that the Center for Community and Global Health wanted to be involved in, making a difference globally. We started working on a five-year intervention, a research project in childhood nutrition. After we started building the awareness in families, building the awareness in teachers, and particularly identifying the children who were already malnourished so that they could get help, then for the first time in those two years, no child died of preventable causes like malaria. And when we heard, when the missionary told me, do you know this year no child died? I said, what do you mean? She said, it has been six years that those children have been dying every year, five or six children dying. But this year, no child died at the school. When we heard that, we were extremely excited that we could be a part of this project and make a real difference in children in Ghana. But dealing with nutrition from a Christian perspective, we are here addressing uh, an essential human need, but also we are bringing that spiritual component. So we are building the body, but we are also building the spirit and the soul. I'm very, very happy with that. And I'm thankful and uh, hum humbled because this is what Christians should be busy doing, bringing hope where there is no hope, light where there is no light. So one of our favorite people that we've worked with every year is a young man. Um, he's 15 years old and he has suffered a lot of malnutrition and so because of that he has some physical effects that that will not go away but or at least you can help you can prevent an infectious disease that might come and uh, end the life of that boy we see God's hand in him in such a way he uh, preaches he sings he's vibrant in um, reaching others for the gospel. And I remember being sitting in church on that final day of our uh, summer trip and uh, seeing Joshua standing there and preaching to his peers. And uh, I was there and I was happy. I was filled with joy because God might have used us as instrument to build the next pastor, the next preacher, and who knows, even the next president of Ghana. We don't know. And uh, because of that, we are thankful to God for using us in his work.